Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the body. So I'm going to show you how the body works and where does it start if you look at the content providing agreement. And if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. Seriously, subscribe. Press the subscribe button. It's for free. Just subscribe. And if you like this video, like it. So let's go to the contract. As you can see here, this is the contract. And what you need to keep in mind is, like I said in the previous video, when you have a contract, you always have the intro, the body, and the outro. So in the previous video, we talked about the intro. Now we're going to talk about the body. And now we're going to talk, and later we'll talk about the outro. So now we're going to talk about the body. And in the body, most time we will start with article one. And you will see what kind of agreement you made with other people or the other person. And yeah, that's technically how it works. So let's look at some examples of things you can put in a body. So we talked about the intro last time. And this is the intro and this is the body. Here you see they talk about the license. So when someone create an when someone create an content, most time they have copyright on it. Most people do not realize that. Let's say A create content, they have copyright on it. And you will be like, but if I'm B and I'm paying A, you're paying technically only for hours. You are not paying for the copyright unless you put it in a contract. It's the same if you hire a photographer. You hire the photographer for his time and to edit the pictures for you. But it doesn't mean the pictures are yours. You need to buy those licenses. That's something you need to keep in mind. So most time here, you'll find rules of agreement about the license. I'm not going to uh, discuss everything about the license, but here this is an example that you can put in it. It's a simple grant of license and then exclusivity. So you will talk about, okay, what are you allowed to do with the, um, with the content that's um, being created for you? And you can put it in here. This is an example. You can adjust it, but if you're smart, let someone do it that knows about it. It's that simple. So this is also one of the things that you can put in it, exclusivity. And how long is the exclusivity? That's something really important, and most people underestimate that. And the corporate um, website. The thing is, why is this in? And I'm going to explain to you why that is. Um, when you create content, the content has a specific goal. Let's say this is the contract content. And if you want to put the content on the website of the company, then you create the content for the website of the company, right? So the content will be placed here. But it doesn't mean he or the company can put the contract, um, the content somewhere else. That's not in the agreement. So what you need to keep in mind is when you create the content, what's the purpose of the contract and where are you going to put it? That's why in a content providing agreement, you make specific rules about those kind of things. So in the body, you find this type of rules. You will find things that you can use in order to make sure that nothing goes wrong. But if something goes wrong, you just look at the purpose. Like I said in the previous video, you look at the purpose of the contract. And when you meet the purpose, then you can see how you can figure how you can solve the situation that you are having. So technically, this is what you should do. So let's recap. If you have question about this kind of things, content providing agreement, or you do not know what to do, what you do, what you need to do is just press the link in the description, go in Discord, and ask me a question directly about this. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Seriously, subscribe. It's for free. I'm waiting. Subscribe. Like this video. See you in the next one. Bye.